Hello everyone, my name is Paul Richards and in this video we're going to show how vMix is adding pan tilt zoom control for PTZ Optics camera over the network, over an IP connection. This is coming out in vMix 17 which is scheduled to be released at NAB 2016 which is April this year and I'm going to show a really cool video, show you some snapshots of what this uh, integration is going to look like and it's going to be about a 10 minute video so let's get ready and we're going to dig into IP camera control in vMix. So here I am in my virtual set, and I have to use a preset to get this set perfect. Um, if it was built into vMix with one click, I'd be able to show off the integration. Um, I've got a video actually playing from the live stream. We're going to take a look at that. You can see them kind of playing with the pan, tilt, and zoom uh, built into vMix, so we will look at that. But really quickly, let's take a quick look at a little presentation I have here. Uh, for those of you who don't know what vMix is, vMix is a live streaming solution that starts at $60 and scales all the way up to $1,200, $1,600 solutions that are like full broadcast uh, quality uh, features. And um, the pan, tilt, and zoom will only be available in the 4K and those professional solutions, just a heads up. Uh, it looks like this. You've got a preview on one side and a output on the other, and then you've got all these inputs below. Those inputs will be able to store presets so that it'll just streamline your you know your solution it's really great it's gonna look something like this so you're gonna have a PTZ controller in the actual input which is nice where you can control you know they're gonna talk about that um, in the video so I won't go too far into detail and you can also plug in any USB joystick kinda of like the way and you, or you could even program a MIDI controller to to uh, call presets so there's a lot of different ways that this technology is gonna uh, be able to be built into your live streaming workflows so we're really excited about that. And I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the live stream, which goes into all the details um, now. From within vMix 17. So that's all very exciting. And what we're going to do is you previously saw with the draw there what PTZ control is capable of. Uh, we're going to do a live demonstration of how it all works right now. So without further ado, I'm going to add the desktop capture and I'm going to cut to that. So we've created a category here, especially for this demonstration called Panasonic PTZ Demo. We also have one called PTZ Optics Demo. Now, all you can do is you can set up a PTZ camera from any input. So as you can see, this camera here is our shot coming in via SDI from the Panasonic camera. And I can go into the settings here and I can go to the brand new PTZ tab. And this is where you can select the device type and you can connect to it. So what I can actually do is I'll disconnect it just so you can see here. I can type in the web address of the PTZ camera and then I can click connect. And you can see on the drop down box here, we've got a couple of providers, PTZ Optics, Sony, Panasonic. So we've got Panasonic, we've got the IP address. That's the local area network IP address of our camera. And then I can click connect. And you can see here now that are enabled a bunch of controls that I can control with the mouse. I can move it to the left, I can move it to the right. As you can see um, <laughs> over here <laughs> is, is the camera that's being controlled. I can move that. Uh, I can control the zoom in and I can control the zoom out. And I can also adjust the speed of each of these. So I can make this really slow. So when I hold that down, you can see it's moving really 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 slowly let's speed it up a little bit it's moving a little bit faster like that and i can press the middle button to jump home which is our full uh, zoomed in shot of our studio which you can see here so i can maximize that we can see us in the studio our lights our cameras you can even see the ptz optics camera over there so uh, i'll zoom in again move down a little bit let's speed it up down and zoom in and let's bring that shot back to where it was um, or near enough um, so once we've got that happening you've got a bunch of controls here you can create input at this position so this is where the power of PTZ comes in what you can do is you can create multiple camera angles that work just like camera angles in vMix so we've set up a couple here and you can see ones at input number 14 ones at 15 and one's at 38, and I can create a new one for this shot. So I'm gonna do that right now. Click Create, 
and it creates a brand new input that we can select here. So whenever I click that input, or whenever I select it, it will go to that position. So I can go back to this one, which is the shot we had before. We've got this shot here. Uh, we've got... This is my same picture from the other day. Yep. Um, so that refreshes when you switch to it, is that correct? So like you have that old picture there of me. So whenever you create the input, that's when it sets the static. Yes, so that was <laughs> Tim from yesterday when we were testing it out. So we can go through here and I can update the photo as well. So I can up click that one to go to Tim and I can right click here and I can update that one, which is number 38. Update input at 38. So now when I jump to this, there you go. Hey, I'm back. So, so your picture does, there, if you can, that's the one from yesterday with testing. Yeah. So just, um, if you show it live, just refresh that, your picture. Oh, yeah, so there. Yeah. So I can, I can refresh that one as well. So update that just updates the, the, the screenshot of what it should be. Yeah, and updates the position of it as yeah. well. So th this is the way you take a snapshot because it's a PTZ camera, but it works like a virtual camera now. Now I can click and pick. I can even cut directly to output. So you can see there's Tim's there, and there's that shot, and there's our studio shot like, like so, and then we can go back to the desktop capture again. So there's a whole bunch of different camera angles. You can have unlimited camera angles and you can even assign them to a switcher or a MIDI control. So when I jump here to the input on my control surface, um, it will automatically jump to that camera angle. So not only can you control it with the mouse from the input settings, not only can you control it by setting up presets for inputs, you can also control it with the Xbox controller, which is what we, we set, up, uh, set, set up before. So I can sit here in my Xbox controller, as long as the camera is in the input that I've assigned the PTZ to, there we go, I can control it like so. I can zoom in, I can zoom out. So we can zoom out and see the studio. I can zoom in with the Xbox controller, and that will preset to the speed that I set in the input settings. Um, wow, pretty cool stuff, huh, guys? Um, so that's everything. We just wanted to, you know, you, if you want to see this all live and everything, take a look at the vMix live stream for February. Um, other than that, hopefully that was informative for you guys. Just wanted to take a small chunk of that large video and share it with everybody. Um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've actually got some really great free virtual sets for, um, for vMix that are great. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.